So you want to play aggressive in Modern Warfare, but every single time you try, you get completely demolished. Guys, look no further. You've clicked on the right video. Yeah, okay, it's going to be a 10 minute long video, but it's packed with info. It's not one of those videos that's going to be filled with filler content and stuff like that. This is going to help you guys rush like a boss. So sit back or lean forward and sweat as much as you got to with your nerd neck and let's get into the video guys check this out this is how to play aggressive and get a lot of kills in modern warfare what is up guys my name is nick and welcome back to another modern warfare video today i have a bunch of tips that i've never shared with you guys before that we're going to get into on how to play aggressive in modern warfare how to actually start running around a lot more getting all those kills and being those people who could rush and go really damn positive at the same time bringing that kd super high up so guys let me know down in the comments below i want to know two things if you guys could please tell me one of them is your kd the second one is your play style are you guys more of a rusher a camper or just someone who does both together let me know down in the comments below drop a like on this video guys if we could hit a thousand and fourteen likes on this one that would be amazing subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here with those notifications turned on and let's get straight into it so the first thing you need to know when playing aggressive might not have to do with the game itself but it's super important to get your mind into the game lean forward on your chair start sweating a bit and just play with the game let any outside distra distractions stay the hell away from you don't let any of those outside distractions get to you whatsoever you want to be in the game you want to make sure that your mind is there and i know that might sound like super sweaty super nerdy but that's what you got to do if you want to raise that kd make sure you guys are closer to that tv if it's a smaller one which i highly recommend you guys play on a smaller one instead of like sitting on a couch on a huge gigantic tv there's a lot of issues with that you guys could check that out on another video but we're going to be talking about actual in-game tips now and what i want to say for the first actual in-game tip is to use classes that have a fast ads time fast mobility and super fast sprint to fire if you could throw on the two attachments that have a positive to sprint to fire that's insane and you should definitely go ahead and run that guys i made five classes yesterday for aggressive play style so you guys can check out the top five best aggressive class setups in that video i'll have it linked in the description the next one is you got to be completely fearless you got to push those enemies hard and fast if you get into a gunfight with someone and you both are weak but none of you die you want to push him heal at the same time if you have to but push him while he goes back into a corner to heal and stuff you want to make sure that he doesn't expect where you're coming from and every time you weaken someone just keep pushing them faster and harder and you guys are going to be killing a lot of people easily the next one is to know where the enemies are and that's easier said than done you got to know where, where they spawn where they camp and where they just are in general so the best way to do this is to look at the mini map and see where your teammates are if you have a bunch of teammates in one area you know there's probably not many enemies there if you have your teammates behind you you know there's probably not many en enemies there so make sure you guys check all those corners you check everywhere check all those lines of sights windows everything you got to do and just know where they are once you start playing the maps a lot more you start to know where the enemies spawn so that just becomes natural and that's going to help you guys out a lot as well the next tip i want to go on to is to hip fire jump shot drop shots and pre-shoot every single corner you possibly can if you guys get into a gunfight jump shotting helps you out a lot because let's say the guy's shooting at your chest once you jump he's going to be shooting at your legs dealing a lot less damage to you if someone's shooting at your chest and you drop shots he's going to be missing bullets while you're shooting him like crazy and if you pre-shoot corners and start hip firing and all that kind of stuff you'll get your shots onto people before they could get it onto you and the good thing about modern warfare is that it has a little few millisecond delay lay the lag when someone jumps around a corner so you will see the enemy before he even sees you jumping out of there which means you have a huge advantage on him another thing that really works is if you guys are pushing a door and the door is closed run right through that door as fast as you can the enemy also will not see you run through there when you see him he's gonna have to wait a few milliseconds for the game to actually compensate and realize what just happened and send his playstation that information so that really works too jump shots around corners and start pre-fire 
firing if you know an enemy's there, and run into a building if you know enemies are there as well. They won't see you coming whatsoever. Another one is to run bigger kill streaks, ones that you probably can't earn whatsoever. And this might sound not smart whatsoever, it might sound stupid to actually do that, but the, this will actually force you guys to try and stay alive. You're going to become a better player if you do this. Let's say you're the type of person who can never earn a VTOL. Throw a VTOL onto your class and no other kill streaks. Maybe a UAV to help you. So just run a UAV and a VTOL and make it your goal to get that VTOL every single time you respawn. Make it a goal to try and get it. And the more you try, the better you're going to get at the game. You're going to realize what you do wrong. You're going to realize where some enemies like to stay. And it's just going to help you guys play a lot better. So that might sound like an unorthodox thing to do, but it's definitely something that you want to try doing. This, is hel this has helped me so many times get kill streaks that I just I couldn't earn before. So go ahead and do that. That's a tip that I don't think anyone ever shares with anyone, but it's something that no one thinks of, but it really, really does work. Another one is, dude, lethals are going to be your best friend no matter what. Let's say you need to push an area, throw a C4 there first if you think there's an enemy there. You'll either damage him or kill him. If you kill him, if it's the latter, then obviously that's a lot better, but if you do damage him, then you know he's super weak. You could jump on in there, start firing, and he's probably only going to take one bullet to die. So that's another good thing about lethals. If there's a bunch of people camping in a building, clear it out with a C4 as well. That's going to help you guys out a lot. Let's go on to the next tip, which is to force gunflight, gunflights, I was going to say, gunfights in short distances. You want to make sure that the enemies are kind of coming to you while you're still pushing to them. So a good example for this, let's play, say you're playing on the map Shoot House. You don't want to stand in the middle of Shoot House and shoot from one end to the other. Chances are you're going to die. There's going to be a few enemies that see you and easily kill you. What you want to do instead is start pushing towards the sides of the maps and get into those closer distance gunfights and all that kind of stuff. This is going to help you guys out a lot. You can take a lot of head glitches and you don't have to worry about people really coming behind you or you missing a lot of shots at a longer distance. So definitely go ahead and do that. That's another one a lot of people don't talk about, but you want to force like barely any distance gunfights whatsoever. So you can start hip firing, you can start doing what you got to do, and it's going to be a lot easier. Another one, and I've given you guys this tip before, is to kill a few enemies in one area, move to the other side of the map through your own spawn, and then kill a few more. So I'm going to explain this one in a little more detail. Let's say, again, you're on shoot house. You spawn on the side of the map that doesn't have the upstairs building. So you spawn all the way on the other side. You could go to towards the right where they have all the crates and stuff start shooting at people there kill a couple of people go back all the way to your spawn and then from there make your way to the junkyard on the left side of the map and this way you could kill people there again they'll they'll try to go back to the junkyard but you won't be there whatsoever and then you could catch them while they're spawning in their spawn trying to run back to the, the uh, junkyard and all that kind of stuff and you could easily pick them off from that so definitely go ahead and do that but you got to be fearless this brings us back to the third tip you got to be fearless when you do this you got to really push them and make sure you do it hard and fast at the same time you got to pre-shoot those corners and everything all at the same time you guys got to use all these tips all at once to make sure it works even better and a good part about this is that if you're running a bigger kill streak and you're going left and right from the map you will probably end up getting it without even realizing so make sure to run those score tricks so you guys can't earn and the last tip i want to talk to you guys about is never seek revenge and i've said this one hundreds of times before i've been telling you guys this since probably black ops 4 i think i think that's the first time i ever told you guys not to seek revenge and it's true you should never ever do it it's just not worth it whatsoever because when you seek revenge you get a whole different mindset you just think about killing that one dude you don't think about actually getting all the other people on the map and stuff like that you go after that one dude who killed you a few times and he might be the best in the lobby making it even a harder challenge for you to get him out of the game so never do that you're going to go up to him you're going to shoot at him he's going to kill you you're going to go back he's going to be on another corner he's going to kill you you want people to seek revenge on you you want to kill them you want to know that they're coming back for you and then you could pick them off in all those certain situations and stuff like that that. So that is going to be it for today, guys. These are all the tips I have to play more aggressively. We went through the video fast. I, like I said at the beginning, we don't want any filler content in this video whatsoever. I just wanted to give you guys a bunch of tips, and I think we had 10 of them right there in under 10 minutes, which is, is absolutely amazing. So I probably do have to fill some content up to hit that 10 minute mark because I did say I was going to do it, and I can't lie to you guys. But yeah, nonetheless, guys, that is going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said at the beginning, if you guys could let me know down in the comments below, your playstyle and your KD. I'm more of a rusher, but I can't.
camp when I gotta camp, so I, I definitely, I do camp once in a while, I can't deny it. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here, we already hit 515,000, which is insane, so go ahead, hit that sub button with those notifications turned on if you haven't yet already, guys. Drop a like on this video, we're gonna go for 1,014 likes on this one, that would be amazing if we could hit it, go ahead and do it as fast as you guys can, just smack it, beat it, do what you gotta do with it. My name is Nick, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!